mainstream journalists are turning on the rings of power. And it's funny watching it because all of them are slowly switching off. Even the normies, like the casual fans, are switching off from this show. And it's interesting how none of these people are being labelled the hard R. And it's interesting how none of these people or these mainstream media outlets are getting any of the hate that independent content creators like myself got. I mean, you have the Indian, uh, the Indian Express. Amazon Prime Drinks of Power was one big failure. Then you go to Forbes. It was also failure. Then you start seeing this kind of variety. The Rings of Power is a big fail. Is too big to fail, but it is failing. People are calling it a Lord, a Lord of the Rings MMO could solve the problems of the Rings of Power. And then you have The Spectator. Amazon's Rings of Power is a portrayal of Tolkien's vision. The problem with this show is that it purely exists to capitalise on a Game of Thrones phenomenon type TV. Throwing money at a project isn't going to make it a success. And watching, like, Film School Rejects, The Rings of Powers, and The Easily Corrupted Hearts of Men... Um, Neil Gaiman being a twat on the internet, but then again, Neil Gaiman is a twat, but that's a whole different discussion. This whole show can't find its story, and people are picking up on these problems. The warrior Princess Galadriel, who has absolutely no personality and just shouts at people. Watching shows like The House of the Dragon, which are outdoing it in both of terms of style, but also in viewership. And it's interesting watching the whole situation fall and it is a failure the show is a failure and mainstream media are finally seeing that i mean there was one shell article that was like rings of power was never intended to be a, a water cooler talk tv show it's intended for a smaller audience no you don't invest a billion dollars in a television series for it to do that although i don't believe they have I've seen budget shows that look better than this. And again, and I've said this in so many videos, where the hell is the budget? Watching this whole thing just disintegrate under Amazon is oddly satisfying. The thing about Amazon is they can do some good stuff. The, the Chris Pratt thing, brilliant series, brilliant writing, great characters. But this is just, it's not moving anywhere. Stuff is just happening. This television show has no sense of time, no sense of urgency. The storytelling is not just slow, it's a snail pace. And I'm all for slow, rich, world-building storytelling. Hello, Game of Thrones. But this isn't it. And just watching all of these shows just fail, it's, I mean, it's not going anywhere. There is no movement of this story. This happens, that happens. They've travelled thousands upon thousands of miles. Oh, we're going to cut to a scene where characters on the same set and the same costumes from three episodes ago. People, even the normies are now picking up on the problems with this show. And with three episodes left, there is nothing happening. Sadly, I think this whole series... If they're scouting season two locations, because they move the locations to England... But it's delayed because there are no sets. They are building sets for to bring film into um, countless things. I find that the it is a catastrophe, and it is this thing. I mean, um, seeing this. It's, I mean, there are literally, I'm looking at the things.com and it's saying Rings of Power is the most expensive disaster ever. Or the tone of Rings of Power is a mess. It is. It, it, this show is bloated and stupid and fails at storytelling. And when you can't even get the series and people, normies, interested in a show, it just feels ridiculous and now with mainstream media and big article things such as Forbes turning on it it really does say everything this show is an embarrassment and even 
people involved in the show are now shutting up. And I have noticed a lot of the actors are now doing a lot of interviews on the BBC, but it, none of them seem to have anything to say. This show is a prime example of a white elephant. It's ridiculous. And when they raved off that early critics of the show were hard R's or misogynists or whatever buzzword they're using, or deflecting the criticism onto actors, is ridiculous. And when the best performance in this entire show is the fake elven princess, uh, elven, the fake dwarf princess and her husband, they're wonderful. I will say that. They are wonderful. And just seeing this fail is amazing, but also kind of sad. Tolkien should set the benchmark for fantasy. It shouldn't be a middling mess. But the people, like I said in another video, people who created the show have no interest in Tolkien. They have absolutely none. And they just wanted the IP to capitalise on something and tell an original story. And that's what they're doing here. They barely have the rights to it, and the excuses being made for this show are hilarious. I see it in my comments a lot. Oh, the show is, you know, they don't, they've don't. they only got partial rights. They're doing the best they can. They're not doing the best they can. If they wanted to make a social political fantasy, they should have just focused on the fall of Numenor. I think that would have been a... They would have had a lot more freedom... And because of Numenor's history and everything they could have used, it would have been a lot better, or at least passable. This is a cash-in, and it's shameless, and it's sad. But mainstream media, the narrative is changing, the pushback has started, and it's fascinating watching it.